Hello, I'm Zena Schapter and I'm so grateful today to the Thomas Keneally Centre at the Sydney Mechanics School of Arts for making this video possible. Did you know they have the oldest lending library in Australia, having been on Pitt Street since 1833? So next time you're in an area, do pop in and have a look around and maybe borrow my book, Towards White. Towards White, it's a science fiction, mystery, thriller crime, set in Iceland. Um, it's all about where the electrical energy in your brain goes when you die. Uh, so the conservation of energy theory, one of the fundamental laws of physics, states that one form of energy must always become another form of energy. So our bodies, when they die, they go uh, into the soil, get buried, decompose and join the nitrogen cycle. But what about the electrical energy in our brains and nervous system? Where does that go? It can't simply disappear. So in my book, Iceland scientists have figured it all out and society has developed new ways of living based on those discoveries. Becky's brother Mark, he's a theologist, he's interested in all this kind of thing and he goes over to study these new developments. But he goes missing. So Becky follows in his footsteps uh, to discover what's happened to him. And readers are really enjoying Towards White. It's already on its second print run, which is great news for me. And some of the things that people have said about it include uh, David McDonald, who is the author of Guardians of the Galaxy Castaways. He's called it a slick techno thriller. Pamela Freeman, author of the Castings Trilogy. She says that this book has profound implications for humanity. And Kim Faulkner, author of Blood in the Beginning, says it has suspense that takes you to the brink, then pushes you over. My main character is Becky Dales, uh, and she's a girl who's uh, struggling to get her life back in order um, while facing this crisis at the same time. I wanted to write a character uh, about someone who um, goes through the darkest of the dark um, and um, faces their worst fears because life falls apart for all of us sometimes and we have to pull it all back together and sometimes when it rains it pours and it pours in towards white for Paul Becky. There's political, political intrigue and murder, there's a dangerous glacier, fist fight, car chase, um, uh, futuristic technology and uh, of course the scientific theory to get you thinking and Iceland as well. I mean, you, it's very hard to prepare yourself for the stark beauty of Iceland. When you go there, it has these lonely lava plains, steamy hot pots and uh, spas, and then it's got volcanoes, but then also glaciers. It has um, uh, glac uh, geysers with water going up and waterfall with uh, water coming down. Um, and it's also a very friendly and open-minded place. So I, when I went there back in 2001, uh, it, I realised it was the perfect setting for my book. Um, so I added uh, a little bit of uh, my uh, theories, asked myself what if, and did some research. Uh, research on all everything to do with the brain and nervous system, of course. Um, uh, electromagnetism, methods of execution, brain death, um, what else? Uh, oh, Iceland, of course, its history and culture and language, uh, Arctic phenomena, uh, astrology, recce. Uh, I like to really um, uh, know everything I can about the world before I write that. And speaking of technique, I just have one little bit of advice for um, writers out there who are further behind in the writing journey than me. And uh, people often ask me what is, you know, what is the success to being a writer and I would say determination in spite of everything but not everyone um, because writing is a collaborative process. We need the support of family and friends. Um, so sacrifice and hard work will get you far but uh, you don't want to be alone at the end of it and you don't want your health to suffer. So work hard uh, but put the laptop down if people need you. Uh, and uh, to look after your health. So that would be my advice. Oh, oh, and wine and chocolate. Wine and chocolate always helps greatly, um, especially if you have a good book to read like Towards White. So thank you for listening. Find me online if you want. I'm on most forms of social media as Zena Shapter and I have a website at zenashapter.com. I look forward to seeing you online. Thank you.